Yep, that's definitely going to work pretty well. These guys are finished with this, so they're going to finish sieging up Hadoti, and we'll see what happens with them shortly. Um, now the question is, do we need quite as many mercs as I have? And the answer to that is probably not. Ugh. I love all these really positive events, they're fantastic. Jangler Dash. Sure, you matter. Oh, right. <laughs> ah. Well, that's going to be nice, isn't it? You're a terrible province, though. 111 with increased coring costs. No, thank you. I have a siege pip on this general. Yeah, suppose we can get rid of one. Save us a little bit of money every month. Yes, it is quite unusual to see Delhi fall so soon. We got Patiala back as well. That's nice. It's another one you very rarely see. And when you do see it, well, you don't see it for very long. Alright, we have some lazy diplomats. Let's keep improving our relations over here. We're not going to probably need to. But uh, yeah, a Malwa Multan alliance should work quite nicely. Come on, I want you to fall. You will fall. Alrighty. So, we sue for peace independently, we just want Jansoma uh, to peace us. We're going to humiliate them and take their ducats. Like so. Just double checking that this is just Jansoma and it is. Great. Cheers. Now, when we peace out with Dundar, we want to take you all. Yep, which is great. And all your ducats. Sexy, sexy ducats. Now, before we take this, do we want to give either of them to Marwar? No, look, they've got the increased core and cost. It's going to be a pain in the bum to core either of them. But we need to be bigger. If we're not bigger, then we can't... Uh, then we won't be able to keep Marwar in check. Yeah, that should be fine. Sorry, Muwet. But we want it all. Okay. 148 on there. Let's do it. You're going to take a little bit more. Now we want a piece, uh, an alliance here straight away. Which is great. We got that mission done. Remove Jangler Dash from the map. Certainly an option, but uh <laughs> Iron in seven 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 says India game interesting. In beginning required. You got it. Okay, so now that we've done that, you like us. You're a loyal subject to us now, which is great. Um, because we defended your territory, that sort of helped. Uh, and if we have a look, yeah, their liberty desires are mere 38%. So, not too shabby. Um, we want their focus, by the way, to being to attach to me. We'll, of course, change that when we need to. And we will improve relations with them.
Alright, so Delhi and Malwa. Well, Delhi's looking pretty tiny. Sign in me what? Okay. So we can get signed in separately. Um, even though taking their provinces will be more expensive. Just taking... Wow, okay. I thought your provinces were worse than that, but they're not. Taking a Marcot and whatever this is, Sewan, will probably be enough. And one of the one of the benefits of working in India, in particular working in this part of India, is if you have a look at the coalition map mode, you'll notice that these guys basically don't give a crap. Minus eight is pretty much the worst of all of my Sunni allies, or Sunni people surrounding me. Um, and that's because I'm currently eating Hindi, so they don't care. This allows you to juggle aggressive expansion between both religions back and forth. It's quite nice, and we uh, intend to be doing so. Actually, so since we're on that map mode, let's have a quick look at what our levels are. 45. So yeah, very close with quite a number of our close by people. Even if we were to if we were to chew up Jangladesh right now, for instance, Jaisama for one would uh, be interested in doing a uh, bad bad thing with us, so we want to stop that from happening as much as we can. Speaking of stopping things from happening, look at our we're currently losing docket still. Part of our mercenaries. Hmm. We can repay all loans, and we will do so. Alright. We can now take 10 ducat loans, that's good. Our inflation is quite high, but we have to deal with that for this particular start. We are at 8 of 8, so we are at force limit. That's good. So the only way to get this down would be to remove the rest of my mercenaries. And that's probably not going to happen. Not straight away. I need a reason to go to war with Delhi, and I just don't have one. Allied with Delhi and me. If I cancel my alliance with you... Pretty daring. Ugh. We don't really need an alliance with you anymore anyway, so that's fine. Let's dissolve the alliance. Of course I did that badly. Yeah, 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 Dictator says, if you rival Mewite, you should not have a truce. Yeah, I don't think I would have been able to rival Mewite anyway. Not really an option, so... Yeah, they're too small. Um, Gwaler. Gwaler has a really nice province and no friends. But Mewat's about to... Mewat's about to swallow him. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. So about the only way to get Delhi in would be to war someone who... I'm not obviously going to be doing this. Oh, I have an alliance there as well. Yeah, Delhi's still recovering like crazy. Oh, that's a first Mewat being a pain. Because I really don't want a war signed. I can't. I would lose... I would lose Malwa as an ally. They would join as an enemy. Delhi wouldn't, mind you, so we would just be facing that. But I don't think I can get Multan in. Yeah, even if we gave them a handout. They don't want any signed land that I haven't claimed. Hmm. Okay. Well, basically, I think we should see what happens down here. 
and then work on it. We're going to want Gorbor eventually, but we can get it with a CB that we already have, so there's no need to claim on that. Just trying to think what else we should claim on. We probably don't need to be improving relations there any further. No, in terms of claims... Hmm. Starting to wish we had a... Uh, oh no, Jean Peu would have been too big anyway. It's looking pretty bad. Still, we can do the Cathaiwa War anytime we want. Um, it's just I don't want to just yet. Basically. Oh, hurry up with the siege, buddy. Gujarat's force is crazy. Hmm. Alright, Malwa, with your 12,000 troops. Yep, you consider all of this of vital interest. So I should, in theory, be able to get you into... Yep. So when Gujarat takes something up here, I should be able to get... As long as they take Miwar, things should be pretty easy for me to go to war against Gujarat. And I would prefer to do so right now while they're getting eaten by Vijayanagar. Gain them piety. Um, speaking of, let's make you a core now that we can. There's no point in raising your autonomy. Okay, you've 100 percent of the... Oh no, you haven't. That's why Vijayanagar's in it. Right. So Vijayanagar did somehow get called into that. That's going to be a pain in the bam. I thought Vijay were just warring him because they could. You know, sensed weakness and all that. Apparently not. Alright, so in that case then it is going to have to be Kathaiwa. We're losing ducats, hemorrhaging ducats, so... No, I don't want to sign as a friend. <sighs> Taking you would be easy. But honestly, I don't want you. I mean, I could feed you to Marwa. And then I'd use dip points to get rid of the increased coring cost. Might be worth doing. I like that we have a religious unity of 50%. It's quite nice. particularly want to. But, Gujarat will give me access, so there is that. I can't co-belligerent you due to a truce. 
but yeah, we should be able to conquer you easily. Excellent, you're going up into Ashmer. It's probably the one place I sort of don't want to fight you, but it's okay. Shur Province. Mawar. Get on it. Thank you. I should have checked tech, but no, clearly three. Alright, there we go. So we got that done. Hello, Krebsig. How you doing? We pop out another 2,000 this way. Actually, Cooch, I think, was in the process of building troops. And I don't think I stopped there for a day. 27th of April. April, May, what? Which April, May? You idiot. There. Lose that prestige again. It's really annoying, but hey. We get it. Accumulate money for prestige, sounds great to me. I think you'll find we're going to be doing that just fine and dandy. Alright. What's my modus operandi for Negwar? Any tricks planned? Um, nothing too crazy. So there are two ways to get this achievement with Negwar. You can go colonist, and you can colonize your way around the islands and get up into here. And oh, Ottoman Anatolia. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Um, you can go up here and. Uh, eat into the soft underbelly of Europe. Or, alternatively, you can do the harder but more enjoyable route of going overland, which is what we're going to be doing. Which, if you're wondering why I'm, I'm rushing, is because of that very specific route. We're losing ducats. I don't particularly want to take a loan. I was hoping any loot we'd be getting would sort of keep us afloat, but uh, apparently not. Something about Dundar? What? Okay. Wow, okay, so Gujarat did still eat all that, and now they're hostile towards us. Okay, but they can't cancel it while I have a person in their lands, correct? Bane Williams, you're going for Sun Never Sets while you're at it. Um, why? People have asked me this a couple of times. Let me have a look at it. Form Hindustan or Bharat. No, we can't do either of those. Um, although we could do it technically after we complete the first achievement. Seems easy enough. Oh right, it was just core and you idiot. Speaking of, how are those rebels going? 50%. Good, good. Alright, hopefully this falls next tick.
really. Come on. Come on, I have a I have a Gujarat to attack. Actually it looks like Mal was already on it. No? You're moving a lot of troops around for someone who's We're gonna end up with a really bad coalition out of this actually. Oh, you did. Do we separate peace, Johnson? I can get 49 ducats and a humiliation out of you. Keep you around for a humiliation target. Now the question is, does that just refresh this or... Alternatively... I can transfer the occupation to malware. But it doesn't give us any benefit, really. Like, I think we'd prefer to keep him around as a certain type of pawn for me to uh, humiliate. He'll eventually get swallowed up by one of the other guys, but that's not going to be my problem, basically. So, humiliate money, get. All right. Suv piece. Really, you're not going to let? But I can make it a call once I have Cooch. And core cooch, I can make the other ones a core. Ugh. Alright, do I want cooch or do I want him to have cooch? It's a 1 1 1, but it doesn't have increased coring costs, so we can go for it ourselves. So we'll take that. Look at the sexy, sexy inflation we're going to be getting, but that's okay. it straight away, increase autonomy, I have no interest in it. We've lost the Conquest CB against Kathawa, that's fine. We can get it back in a little while. Gujarat have cancelled the military excess, unsurprising. And we need one more. Alright Gujarat, let's uh, rival you. You went from loving us to hating us in three short steps. 42, 41, 41, 31. Fanny McFat says, are you changing religion, Bane? See if I can ally Bahmanis. Yeah, I should. Especially because they're looking somewhat decent. Um, I did change religion last playthrough, so it's really interesting. I do want to change religion, but I don't want to restart the game when I do. I don't know why, but if you restart the game after changing religion, it's what caused my other run to go to, go to, well, let's just say go really badly. And that is, if you change religion, restart the game, it re, oh, we got a new subscriber, a new follower. I should actually, like, notice who that is. Hey, Mr. Dickles69. See, you just followed, so I'd say that name on stream, it's fine. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to probably change religion, but yes, if you change religion and then restart the game, it recalculates all of your other people's um, opinions towards you, and there's something wrong with the coding when you switch religions, in that it doesn't quite drop your previous religion's um, opinions too much. But uh, after you reset, restart the game, my god, these guys, all of them went from uh, loving me to hating me. Hey, Reb Brown Arena, good to meet you. Alright, the levy. 
Um, I have some estate stuff that I need to deal with, but yeah. Actually, let's let's deal with my estate stuff. So the Dimmy are annoyed because we've got a very pious ruler. We can't really help them with that at all. It's all right. All right, the emirs. I don't think we want to give them a bunch of influence, actually. I suppose we could make them lose some loyalty. Fifty, sixty, yeah, sure, should be okay. All right, marriage offer for Marwar. There's no real need to have a marriage with you, but I suppose there's no real harm in it either. Let's have a look at how you're going. 18% liberty desire. Great. <laughs> what glass? Bane small shot glass. Yeah, I like my steins. Half German, what do you expect? Okay, let's go to war. Hadoti have been released, which means we can nom 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 them, and we may do that shortly. That would be the easy route. Um, we are going to fabricate a claim on them at the very least. We still have a truce until 62, so not too long. No! Oh no. No! Hoo -hoo. Malwa! Damn it. I suppose if it's just Gwela, that won't take you too long. Oh wait, Mewat is still sieging this? They're sieging it because they can't actually take it. Oh, well, that's hilarious. See, this is one of the problems with the fort system. This needs 9,000 to take, and they can't do it. Into parent that's guaranteed by one per. Yeah, well, I can't do anything about that. Okay, either way, you're already involved in a war. So you're not going to be interested in doing anything over here. You don't really need to be improving things there. Oh no, Mal will still want to join. Cool. We can't get Multan, but that's okay. We don't really need it. 17,000 men. I reckon we'll be able to get this just fine. I'm assuming that this, you know, before we do this, let's fabricate a claim somewhere. Baton? Heck, we could uh, fabricate a claim on Surat even, I think, from this distance. Surat would give us a border with Baglana. I am unsure. The thing is, I don't know what Bahmanis is going to do. So, if Bahmanis wins, so what are these guys? They're just up against Bahmanis. Alright, so they probably won't take Surat. Probably just take Konkin. Probably. I'm not actually a Brit. Evil Man 2011. But, good to see you. 